guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka it feels so weird to film because I haven't done so in a while and it just feels so good so today I'm going to be reviewing a brand called Oma Beauty or Uma Beauty I've seen people say it different ways so I'm going to say both I was really interested in trying their foundation and concealer I did look at a few reviews because I wanted to find the right shade it's on Beauty Bay um, and I got a few requests to try this out so let's jump straight into it and before you go into the video i'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to natasha c so thank you so much for your comment if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment uh, -uh i apologize if um i'm speaking really quietly because my brother's just sleeping over there puppy and it's like 5 a.m and i need to go to work and everyone's sleeping. Oh, I got the worst headache, guys. Not to complain, but you know when you just get pain in your forehead right there? Anyways, let's moisturize my skin so, so dry. I'm going to use a bit of my NUX Melting Cream, which is SPF 50. So after watching a few reviews, the foundation does look a little bit dry, especially the concealer. So because I'm actually going out uh, to work, I want to make sure that I make this work a little bit even though if it's I mean if it's gonna go wrong it's gonna go wrong but I need my skin to be hydrated because it's super super dry so just a bit about the foundation it's called the say what foundation you get 30 mil for 29.50 uh, uh, there's a load of shades 51 shades so yes oh my beauty Oma sounds better. Why is my accent going American? So it's vegan, cruelty free, and paraben free. Long lasting, vibrant matte coverage. I've been so against matte, but we'll try it again. We'll try it anyways. That's why I'm moisturized. Uh, the hydrating formulas are infused with biomimicry bio pigments that thinks like your skin to minimize the look of pores, soften the fine. What? Minimize the look of pores and soften fine lines. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I don't know, I've just been more into it. And I'm gonna start with a little... Let's just pretend that didn't happen. We're gonna start with a little bit of product. That's what the shade looks like. It's not a... I did well, you know, I bought this online. I'm not mad at that. It's a bit warmer and oranger. Oranger. What on earth is wrong with me? It's quite warm, but I'm not mad at that because I know I'm going to get tan, so we'll see, we'll see. Put a little bit there, and we're going to burn that out. Did he even say what the coverage is? I don't know. Just going to burn that quickly. Apparently this oxidizes, so that's just great, isn't it? It's quite warm, but it is actually quite warm, but it's okay, I'm making it work. Well, but I do like warm foundations though, because around my mouth it just works. It's adjustable coverage. I mean, I guess you can get full. I'm using the tiniest amount and it's giving me almost like medium coverage, which I'm not mad at. So when I used to do like reviews before, I used to pack on the foundation. No wonder I would get bloody smile lines. I would put so much product, but we live and learn. We live and learn people. But like, I'm really liking this so far. I don't know. I feel like the, the moisturizer really helped because I feel like it on the back of my hand, it feels quite dry. So if you've got dry skin, I don't know how we're gonna see how this is this is gonna work but if you've got oily skin this might be a good foundation for you but it's too early for me to say it looks very orange on camera but in real life it's not bad actually I think it works because I blended it down my neck but that looks really good Okay, so next up we have this Stay Woke Concealer. I love the names. Um, it's £21, you get 5ml. Just for reference, my Tarte Shape Tape is, is 
10 mil so it is it is a much smaller concealer on their website it says it's a beauty sleep in a bottle discoloration dark circles late nights early mornings meet all your day solutions to a flawless complexion with armor beauty stay work luminous brightening concealer full coverage lightweight satin radiance concealer seamlessly it goes on seamlessly to instantly conceal imperfections uh, creamy smooth texture, full coverage, thin like finish, long lasting. If you see a booger, I apologize, but I, this hay fever is not for me right now. This is Tarte Shape Tape, and this is the Oma Beauty one. Uh, it looks a bit light, but this is this, this is very. I never knew that it looks very pink, doesn't it? Salmony. Now I did swatch this concealer on my hand, and it did come off like quite dry so i'm just gonna put a little bit there we don't need too much okay i'm just gonna blend that straight away so that's how much i put on a daily basis when it comes to concealer especially with my tart shape tape and i can already tell this is giving me less coverage than tart shape tape i can still see some darkness there I don't know if it's because like it's maybe too light it's going to maybe a bit ashy yeah it's clinging it's definitely clinging quite sticky as well so one thing i do have to say the applicator is so soft and bouncy so really like that i don't know how i feel about this but we'll do the other side i'll do a close-up this is how that side's looking it's I don't know if I've got the right shade, but I know the one up wouldn't suit me. Let's just put a bit here. I'm gonna blend this. I'm using this concealer to balance out the foundation a bit too. But yeah, I can feel with just the beauty blender like the way it's bouncing it's quite sticky you know when you can just tell when something's not applying the way you want it to that that is i don't know i mean it doesn't look that bad actually let me stop exaggerating this is just what i do on a daily basis just set under my eyes slightly that's a concealer i mean it didn't go that dry but it's definitely sticky and i don't know it was very clingy in some areas but i think i don't know if it's because i put the moisturizer under my eyes i feel like if i didn't then it would have been very dry but yeah it's like clingy all in this bit here can you see like it didn't really apply properly anyways let me not touch that what time is it oh gosh i need to hurry up so yeah that's what the foundation looks like and the concealer i'm not mad at both to be honest i mean at first the concealer was putting me off a little bit but it's actually looking really nice and i feel like a little does go a long way um it gave like a medium to full coverage i wouldn't say full kind of covered the little scar i have on my forehead which is very dark to be honest but yeah it didn't do too bad, bad i think medium to full for me i will of course be back later on it will be like literally in 12 hours hopefully um and we're gonna see how this look i'm so excited and actually this doesn't look bad so i don't feel bad going out like this because <laughs> sometimes i've tried foundations and they're like mm -hmm. so this is what the foundation looks in a bit of daylight the match is actually not that bad no that looks really nice I'm really pleased with this so far. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later. All right, guys. So I'm now back. It's six twenty. I've had this foundation for like twelve hours. I keep saying foundation. It's foundation and concealer. I do really like the foundation. It's it hasn't given me any smile lines or like dryness. Like, although i do feel like my skin has reacted to it slightly i don't know i have to keep you updated in the comments but i don't know it looks nice it looks smooth and i definitely see myself 
um, using it again. Um, I do have to say though, I probably have to use this with primer because it's, I have been blowing my nose a lot, but it's all gone around like my mouth area and my nose. Would I purchase this foundation again? I don't think so because it's not my favorite out there. And also I feel like the concealer is very dry. I do watch Jackie Aina and apparently she likes it. I've seen her use it a few times and it does look like she likes it and it looks really good on her, but she has more oily skin. So I think if you have oilier skin, it'll be a bit better for you. I have very, very, very dry skin. So I definitely see it clinging, separating. It just doesn't look pretty. It just looks super dry. It's faded off. It does not do me any good and it's nowhere near the Tarte Shape Tape. Like, it just doesn't work for my skin type. But yeah, I'm definitely not impressed with a concealer. It's not for me. And to be honest, by the end of the... When I first applied it, everything looked so nice. So, it has potential. That's why I've been staying away from matte makeup. And a lot of you requested for me to review, like, the Makeup Revolution matte range. Like, the base makeup and powder foundation. Like, literally, there's no point in me doing that because it's just not going to work. So, it's like... I'm... It's ready. It's I'm setting it to fail from the beginning, if that's how you say it. Yeah, the foundation is good. I think you might like it if you have oilier skin. I'm not that shiny, to be honest. It didn't make me dry anywhere, like, wherever I applied it. Long-lasting. I would say it's long-lasting. It's been 12 hours. My These animals are not letting me film. Weightless. I can definitely say it's weightless. Like, I feel like there's nothing on my skin, but I do feel like my under eyes are really dry. I don't like, like, during the day, I would see myself in the mirror. I'm like, damn, like, this concealer is not liking my skin or my skin is not liking concealer one way or another it just didn't work overall this would be good for normal to oily skin types i don't really i don't know for me at least it didn't work for my dry ass skin um but also before you go and purchase something don't base your decision just on my review look at loads of other people's reviews and then collate them and make a decision that's what i do so yeah i'm just sharing my experience with this foundation but that could be different with someone else i would say a huge shout out to them for having like over 50 shades in their foundation that's amazing yeah the foundation i i'll just finish it and i just won't purchase it again i'm really glad that i got to try these two products i hope this review was helpful before i go i'm gonna do a quick close-up it's quite faded but I don't know, it sits well. The camera is making it look good, trust me. I'll do like a daylight um I've I've just lost my words. <clears throat> but yeah, I just don't like it guys. It just looks really dry. I'm just in my garden and this is how the foundation looks. Really not that bad when you look at it, but I don't know. I've I've tried better foundations, you know, but the concealer. Let's see if we can get a shot. Yeah, if you have tried this foundation and concealer, let me know what you think. If there's any other products you want me to try out, let me know in the comments below. I'll also leave all my shades in different foundations in the info box for reference because I think the shade match is actually not bad. It's more my summer shade, but it was really good. The concealer as well wasn't bad. It's just that the formula didn't work for me. I think I would rate the foundation a 6 out of 10 for me and the concealer is literally like a free. It didn't even give me that good enough coverage. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next one.